This jump demonstration shows how to use the Excel add-in to visualize and explore Excel models using Jump's Prediction Profiler. The Excel add-in appears as a ribbon at the top of your Excel window. The add-in is available for Windows only, and it will be present in Excel so long as Excel was installed on your computer prior to installing Jump, and when you installed Jump you chose to include the Excel add-in. If you have both Jump and Excel installed on your computer, but don't see the add-in, just reinstall Jump and choose to include the Excel add-in with the installation. The right section of the add-in, labeled Profile in Jump, allows us to visualize and explore Excel models with Jump's Prediction Profiler. Our example here involves several models related to loan amortization. In this Excel spreadsheet, we have inputs of loan amount, interest rate, and monthly payment, or PMT, and we have three models that are functions of these inputs, years to pay off, total interest, and total paid. The values for these three are computed using Excel formulas. For example, here's the formula for years to pay off. To profile these three models in Jump, we'll first use the create slash edit model option to specify which cells in our spreadsheet contain the input values and the formulas for our models. We'll click the plus button at the top to add a new model. We'll give it a name and click Apply. Next, we'll specify the three inputs for our model. Those were Loan, Interest Rate, and Monthly Payment. To add an input, we'll click the Plus button in the input section. We'll first enter an input name. We can either type this in manually, or we can click the Choose button to select the cell in our spreadsheet that contains the input name. When I click Choose, you'll notice that the Create Edit Model window temporarily disappears so that it's easier to see our spreadsheet. I'll click cell A1 to populate the Input Name field with the word Loan. Next, we'll specify which cell in our spreadsheet contains the loan value itself. Again, we'll click Choose, and now we'll click on cell B1 because that's the cell that contains the loan value. You'll notice that the initial, minimum, and maximum values for this loan variable have been specified for us based on the value that was in cell B1. These are the values that specify the range and initial value for the loan variable when we launch the profiler. And if we like, we can change these manually. When we're finished with this first input variable, we'll click Apply to save it. In practice, we'd next use the same process to add the remaining inputs for our models, but for demonstration's sake, we'll skip those right now and move on to the outputs. The output section is where we specify the cells in our spreadsheet that contain the model formulas. I'll click plus to add a new output. We first give our output a name. We'll start with years to pay off. Next, we choose the cell that contains the formula for this output. Here, that's cell B5. We save this first output by clicking Apply, and then in practice we would add our remaining outputs, Total Interest and Total Paid, and then click the OK button to save the model. But for demonstration purposes here, we'll skip this step. If you look back at the top model list, you'll notice I already have a model called Loan Final, which contains all three inputs and all three outputs. We'll use this for our prediction profiler. Back in our Excel window, we'll now click the Run Model button and select Loan Final from the drop-down menu. This launches Jump and pulls up our three models in the Prediction Profiler, allowing us to explore our models, seeing how changes in our inputs affect our outputs. Just like every other Prediction Profiler in Jump, we have a red triangle menu here that includes many more options for working with the profiler.